8.02 a.m. Saturday the 24th of January. This is the Lake District Ski Club Snow Line, sponsored by George Fisher of Kesey. I've had a picture from the web come on raise this morning, and there is a full cover of new snow. All runs are complete. The tour will be operating today from 10.30 a.m. onwards. Thank you for calling. One thing about skiing on rays that it sorts out the men from the boys where you uh, have an hour's walk from the mines at Glen Ridden, which uh, gets rid of any stiffness and when you uh, finally get up on rays you're ready to go. You don't have to do any of these uh, willy-nilly exercises where you see skiers on holiday doing all these acrobatic sorts of motions to get skiing. It's unique in its position that even a lot of locals don't even know that the ski tour exists. Well my name's uh, Bernie Warriner and I've been involved in the club since I joined in uh, 1975. Uh, basically it was a load of the local aristocrats who uh, formed the club and they travelled all over the Lake District looking for uh, good snow areas and eventually it was decided that Rays had the best cover of snow and so that's how the club was formed on Rays. So I went home and I said to my dad, Dad there's a ski tour on Elvel and he says, don't be silly, there's no skiing in the Lake District. Eventually I met someone who said, why don't you try Rays? So I didn't even know where the Rays was. I had my first ever ski on uh, snow. We came up the wrong route all over there, but eventually we found the toe. Uh, it was good fun, but I couldn't stay up for more than about three seconds. And once you get smitten by it, you come every year, don't you? Because it's pretty good. You talk to people when you're on holiday skiing, that I've done a thousand foot vertical descent off piece, and they go, so what? And you go, well, it was in England. When you appear over the uh, summit you've got fantastic views of Oldswater in the distance. The uh, ski runs on rays they've evolved over the years and the two main ones are Savage's Gully which was the original gully where the old tractor tour was there in the old days and uh, the one running parallel to that in between the fencing which is now called the president's run from the president of the day who wasn't a very good skier and he took the easy option therefore the run was named after him. The one black run on rays which is above the members up which is called Le Noir is obviously from Blackwater Gully. Summer work meets which is usually the first Sunday in the month for repairing fencing, generally cleaning the site up and carrying out maintenance on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> we get as many members as we can to come up. We have to do all our own maintenance. It's all volunteers. Nobody gets paid. We just turn up like you can see we're up on the pile on there. We're scraping off the old flakes, flaked paint and uh, wire brushing it. And, uh, painting over with this sort of galvanising type paint. In the old days we used to carry the fuel for the engines up in uh, five litre cans. This year we're hoping to uh, use a helicopter provided by um, Julian Rayner. The uh, work meets are normally attended by the older members of the club and I'm rather concerned about this uh, basically because uh, the club's future needs younger members. When I joined the club the uh, the membership was only three pound. You had to be um, apply for membership and be approved and you also had to come up and do a minimum number of work meets before they would allow you to come into the club. After the lottery grant it had to be open to everyone. The cost now to join is 23 pound and seven pound a day to ski or you can buy a member's season ticket for £20. I felt really proud to spend my millennium with another seven members in the ski at Upon Rays. Stayed in the hut, brought the steaks, brought the champagne, illuminated the slope, the ski just before the millennium and just after. And then we were up next morning early for the sunrise as it came over High Street. I wasn't with them. I was torn between here and my grandchildren, so I got stuck with the Well. I chose the grandchildren and the wire, but I would have loved to have been here. I'll probably keep going up till I'm 100. Let's hope so. <laughs> 
6.30 p.m. Saturday the 24th of January. This is the Lake District Ski Club's Norline, sponsored by George Fisher of Keswick. A marvellous day skiing was out on Ray's Mountain today in the Alvell and Central Massif. With new powder snow, all runs are complete. There was a light westerly breeze blowing new snow in all day and regrooming. It was wall-to-wall -wall sunshine and run of the day was out of Mongolia. A further update will be given in the morning regarding the possibility of skiing on Sunday. Thank you for calling.